Wendy Brown's Regulating Aversion Tolerance in the Age of Identity and Empire was published in 2006. Tolerance is often celebrated as a significant achievement of the modern Western world. Originally emerging as a means to mitigate religious conflict and reduce persecution during early modern Europe, it is now seen as a valuable tool in mitigating conflicts based on cultural, racial, ethnic, and sexual differences. However, in her book Regulating Aversion, political theorist Wendy Brown argues that tolerance also carries disturbing and problematic implications. Brown critically examines the concept of tolerance in the context of religious and political conflicts. She investigates the kind of political subjectivity that tolerance produces and the role of the state in shaping this subjectivity. Rather than providing a direct answer to the question of what tolerance is, Brown explores its multifaceted nature. Brown argues that tolerance is limited because it functions as a strategy for managing what is considered abhorrent. It is also asymmetrical, as the majority holds the power to determine when and how tolerance is applied. Additionally, tolerance is seen as normalizing because it imposes its own prescriptions on the subject. Despite these critiques, Brown does not outright reject tolerance, but rather offers a nuanced revision of Foucault's work. The book analyzes the governmentality of tolerance, examining how liberalism produces political subjects and legitimizes its own power dynamics. Tolerance serves a dual purpose. It reinforces the liberal paradigm of individual rights, private beliefs, and value pluralism, while also facilitating the domination of groups that do not conform to liberalism's governing principles. By naturalizing differences, tolerance masks the uneven distribution of power in liberal societies. Through examples of discourses on civilization and sexuality, Brown demonstrates how tolerance is utilized to uphold the power differentials of liberalism. It distinguishes the civilized from the barbaric and perpetuates unequal treatment of marginalized groups, such as the LGBTQ community. In both cases, tolerance conceals the underlying social powers that constitute and sustain these differences. Tolerance, despite its portrayal as an alternative to violence, harbors dislike, disapproval, and regulation at its core. Rather than affirming, tolerance conditionally permits what is deemed unwanted or deviant. Paradoxically, tolerance can even serve to justify violence, as seen in the context of the war in Iraq and the war on terror, where it has been used to differentiate the civilized West from a perceived barbaric Islam, ultimately supporting Western imperialism. In her analysis, Wendy Brown unveils a remarkably unfamiliar understanding of tolerance. Far from being a neutral stance, tolerance is laden with norms that consolidate the power of dominant groups, perpetuating the marginalization of those who are tolerated while equating intolerance with barbarism. Brown examines the functioning of tolerance in diverse contexts, ranging from the war on terror and advocacy for gay rights to the Los Angeles Museum of Tolerance. Through these case studies, she explores how tolerance operates in contemporary struggles concerning identity, citizenship, and the concept of civilization.